Battle of the Books competition for the 2019-2020 school year. I'm Braxton Jones from KWCH, your host for this program. Joining me are students from McCollum, OK, Payne, and White Elementary Schools. These teams have already competed in preliminary rounds at their schools in order to appear on today's program. We're looking forward to some exciting games. Now, students were given a list of 64 books to read. They need to be familiar with events, characters, and authors of the books in order to answer questions. They will also give a book talk about one title from the list. Each team has drawn a book title and was given 15 minutes to prepare a three-minute presentation about the book. These book talks were taped earlier and will be seen later in the program. 12 points are possible for the book talk. The points will be added to the scores in the final in the rounds. Now the first two teams to compete are McCullum and OK Elementary. Students, would you introduce yourselves and tell us your favorite title or your favorite book? We'll start with OK Elementary. My name is Holden. I am and my favorite book is Winnie's Great War. I am Sally and my favorite book is Matilda. I'm Luca. My favorite book is Wonder. My name is Lily and my favorite book is Beezus and Ramona. I'm Justice. My favorite book is <coughs> probably Sisters. I'm Brooklyn. My favorite book is Real Friends. I'm Griffin. My favorite book is Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians. My name is Michael, and my favorite book is Home of the Brave. Now we'll review the rules so the audience will know how the game is played. Um, each match will consist of 20 questions given to alternating teams. Team members have 30 seconds to answer and may confer about the answer, but only the person with the book may say the answer. Five points will be added for a correct title, with five points added if the team can also name the author. If the team cannot answer the question or the answer is incorrect, the other team is allowed five seconds to answer and steal the points. Now, five points will be awarded for the correct title. The winning team in the first round will compete against the winning team for the second round for our final match. First, let's take a look at the book talks from our first two competing teams. Hi, welcome back to Battle Books News. Today, we are going to be reviewing the best book in town called Beast and Ramona by Beverly Cleary. The, the setting in this book, the settings are in this book are Beast and Ramona's home, the library, and their, their, their backyard. The characters in this book are the serious and mature Beast, the joyful and playful Ramona, the funny Aunt Beatrice, and the strict mom Dorothy. The problem is this book is that Ramona likes to make mess messes and is playful and Beezus likes and Beezus wants attention. The solution is that uh is that uh uh Ramona Ramona uh wants realizes that Beezus uh will grow up to be mature like her. Thank you for watching Battle of the Books News. Tune in next time to watch babies eating corn <laughs> and have a good night. <laughs> that concludes our book talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hello class. Today, last week, we have been reading the field guide. Does anyone know the main characters and setting? Luca. The main, uh, the setting is the house, and the main characters are the blogger, Jared, Helen, um, Simon, and Mallory. Good. Does anyone know the problem? Sorry. The problem is that there is stuff climbing in the walls, and they're trying to get them out. Good. Does anyone know the solution? Lily? Okay, so the solution is that they broke the walls open, and they found a secret room, and then they found the... Um, bother. Good. Classes dismissed. McCullum earned 12 points on their book talk, and OK Elementary earned 11 points. They will start the round with those scores. The team from McCullum will answer the first question. First question is for Justice. Ted's job every day before school was to deliver newspapers to the whole town of Plattsford, Nebraska. Name the book this character was in. Room one. Do you know the author? Yeah. 
Clement. That is correct. A room, for, a room one, a mystery for two, the author was Clement. The next question goes back to OK. In which book do you meet the Blue River Riveters, who are the smartest, sassiest, toughest bunch of airplane builders you ever saw and the best dancers and musicians? Rosie Riveter. Do you know the author? Uh, no. We need the whole title. Oh, do you need the whole oh. title on this one? I don't know. We don't know. Oh. Rosie Rivera and the Rockus Riveters. Do you know the author? No. That is correct. You get five points for that answer. Back to McCullum here. In what book does a young woman persist and never give up in her pursuit of higher mathematics? Nothing Stops Sophie. Do you know the author? Um, Bardo. That is correct, so 10 points for that answer. Back to OK. Sally, the next question is for you. The first action for the dog was to find Sam's sister, Amelia, who was lost in the crowd. Name the book. How to Steal a Dog. That's incorrect. Rescue on Oregon Trail. Do you know the author? Nesner. Oh, that's correct. Good job. So the qu next question will go back to McCullum. The artist's eye was injured when he was six years old, which resulted in his eyesight becoming worse until he was legally blind. But he never gave up drawing in which book? Can you please repeat that question? Sure. This artist's eye was injured when he was six years old, which resulted in his eyesight becoming worse until he was legally blind, but he never gave up drawing in which book? Is it Tigers and Tea with Toppy? Do you know the author? Curly. That's correct. Back to OK. In which book does a bear cub have both rats and horses as his friends? The Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great. <laughs> That's incorrect. Winnie's Great War. That is correct. Um, okay. uh, this, oh, it's just a steal, so you guys are good. Good. That's five points for you there. <laughs> Going to go back to McCullum for this next question. Over Thanksgiving, none of the students in the class could take home the class hamster. So he had to go home with Mrs. Brisbane, the very teacher that wanted to get rid of him. <coughs> Name this book. The World According to Humphrey. Do you know the author? Birdie. Birdie. That's correct. Ten points. Back to OK Elementary. Can you say the author's last name? Oh, can you say the author one more time for me, please? Birdie. Okay, Good to go there. Awesome. In which book do you read the Gancheros make a living recycling trash? Edo's violin. Oh, we'll have to have Lily answer this one since she has the book. Ada's violin. Do you know the author? No other. That is correct. Five points for OK. All right, Justice, in which book does the missing character communicate by email? Can you reread that? In which book does the missing character communicate by email? Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans. That's incorrect. Okay, you can steal. We don't know. We don't know. 
All right, the correct answer was At the Bottom of the World by Nye. We'll go back to OK and Holden. In which book do four characters prove they can be good by breaking every last dog out of the, po out of the pound? Excuse me. In which book do four characters prove they can be good by breaking every last dog out of the pound? The bad guys. Do you know the author? Uh, Blably. That is correct. Ten points for OK. All right, Brooklyn. In which book did one of the main characters give himself a root beer shower? In which book did one of the main characters give himself a root beer shower? The Not So Jolly Roger. That's incorrect. Okay. We don't know. The correct answer was Big Nate Blasts Off by Pierce. Back to okay. In what book does a girl teach her brother to read using a burned black stick to write C and me? Uh, real friends? It's incorrect. McCullum, in what book does a girl teach her brother to read using a burned black stick to write C and me? Seraphina's Promise. That's incorrect. The correct answer is The Boxcar Children by Warner. Back to McCullum here. In which book does John decide that Miss Ruel isn't too strict but brave and wise? Can you please repeat that? In which book does John decide that Miss Ruel isn't too strict but brave and wise. We don't know. The Children's Blizzard? That's correct. Need oh, we need the whole title. The Children's Blizzard, 1880? What year did they say? 1880. No. It's incorrect. The, the correct answer is The Children's Blizzard, 1888. We'll go back to OK for the next question. And which um, did you read that all stars have remained in American fashion for 100 years? Chuck Taylor's Sneaker Sensation. Do you know the author? Felix. Felix. That is correct. Chuck Taylor's Sneaker Sensation by Felix. We'll go back to McCullum for question 15. In this book, the uncle has finally had it with the rest of the family, so he tossed his items in a handkerchief tied to a matchstick and moved to the Barbie camper. Name this book. <coughs> Dolby Ball? Say it one more time. Dull people. Um, what is the author? Martin. That. Say, say the title one more time for me. Dull people. Dull people. Yes. By Martin. That's correct. All right. We are back to. Okay, for this question, name the book in which you learn about the force called surface tension. A drop of water. Do you know the author? No. Wick. That's correct. A drop of water by Wick. Question 17. In what book is the main character prevented from being arrested because people find out that she is really a 13-year-old girl? Eight is violin. That is incorrect. Okay. A family, ap a family apart. That's correct. 
back to OK. Now, name the book in which Rat lives in Farmer Bean Cider Cellar. Mr. Fantastic Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox. That is correct. Do you know the author? Roald Dahl. That's correct. Back to McCullum. Young sorcerers Teddy and Kathleen send a brother and sister team on a mission back in time to help a creative person bring his gifts to the world in which book? The Not So Jolly Roger. That's incorrect. The correct answer was Good Night for Ghosts by Mary Pope Osborne. Final question will go to OK Elementary. The book suggested that feeding Tiamat milk would help keep calm, keep calm and help her sleep. Name the book. Jeremy Thatcher, Jack and Hatcher. Do you know the author? No. That is correct. Jeremy Thatcher, Dragon Hatcher. The author is Bruce Colville. Good jobs to both teams in our opening round. That's a lot of good stuff. We'll let the judges kind of tally everything. So I do want to ask you guys a few questions. I'll start with you guys over at um, OK Elementary. You guys had to remember all of these books and yes. titles and authors. How did you guys work together to make it happen? Um, Books, honestly, and, and they helped me out a bunch. We split some of the other books that I couldn't read on the other lists. Very fun. So I'll have I'll go over to um, McCullum now. If you guys could, obviously, librarians are a big part of this. Tell me a little bit about your librarian over at McCullum Elementary School. Our librarian is new to this school. Uh, she's very nice, and this is her second Battle of the Books team. Um, she. Let us come in every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to practice, so we memorize most of the questions. Definitely. So I'll ask Sally this next question. Um, what is your favorite? Uh, you told us your favorite book. Do you guys read them um, on like tablets, or do you read them paperback, like regular books? How do you guys read your books? Very, very fun. And so yeah. I'll ask one more to um, McCollum here, Michael. Um, where is your favorite place to read? I mean, obviously, talk about, you know, the library. You can read at home. Where's your favorite place to read your books? The couch. The couch? Very, very fun. Awesome. Now, the final score in this game was 72 for McCullum and 71 for OK Elementary. Congratulations, McCullum. You will meet the winner of our next match in the final round of the Battle of the Books. Let's take a look at the book talks from the teams for round two. I survived the children's blizzard 1888. Hey, isn't that the book where her uh, family lives in Chicago and moves to uh, Dakota? Yeah, that's true. Hey, Leah, who are the characters in that book? John, Peter, John, Peter, Rex, Franny, and Miss Rule. What's the problem? John, Rex, and Peter are on a sleigh that are, that's getting pulled by horses, and then they fall off and they get stuck in one of the world's most biggest blizzards. What's the solution? They, Peter, Rex, and John, they find their way through the snow to a, to a stack of hay, and they stay awake all night until, until someone comes to rescue them. Hmm. It seems like a good book. I may read it sometime. Hi, welcome to the Book Talk Talk Show. Today we have author Lincoln Pierce and two of the two of his characters from his latest book, Big Nate Blast Off. So, Lincoln, what was the, your setting in this book? The main setting was a school, and the second main setting was the museum. So, Nate, what is the problem in this book? The problem is that me and Randy are 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 
um, not really good friends. Um, and we get stuck as um, field trip partners. So we have to get forced to get along. And Teddy, what was the solution in this book? Well, the solution was that um, that uh, they became best friends and they have each other back now. Thanks for watching the Book Talk Talk Show. Come back next time for an awesome new book. Competitors in our next round are from Payne and White Elementary Schools. Students, tell us your names and the titles of your favorite book. We'll start with White Elementary School. My name is Madison, and my favorite book is Grump. My name is Brianna, and my favorite book is Inside Out and Back Again. My name is George, and my favorite book is Stuart Little. My, my name is Dakota, and my favorite book is Big Nate Blast Off. My name is Gabriella, and my favorite book was How to Steal a Dog. My name is Isaiah, and my favorite book is Big Nate Blasts Off. My name is Leah, and my favorite book is How to Steal a Dog. My name is Lucian, and my favorite book is Inuyasha. Awesome. Payne Elementary will begin the round with 11 points, and White Elementary starts with 10 points from their book talks. The Payne Elementary team will answer the first question. All right, now the first night on the road, the family had to drive all night because they couldn't find a hotel that allowed African Americans to spend the night named the book. Ruth and the Green Book. Do you know the author? No. That is correct. Ruth and the Green Book. The author, author excuse me, Calvin Ramsey. We'll go back to White Elementary now. Um, the main character in this story was a fast runner and she was chosen from the bamboo class to be on the relay team at her school. Name the book. We don't know. Would you like to steal it? Can you repeat the question? The main character in this story was a fast runner and she was chosen for... <laughs> oh, there's not time to steal? On, on a steal, you don't repeat the question. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. The, answer, the correct answer was... Sadakow and the Thousand Paper Cranes by Eleanor Kaur. We will go back to Payne Elementary. Name the book where even magic could not bring the reins. The Red Pencil? That is incorrect. <laughs> correct answer would be the, uh, the Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Miller. We'll go back to White Elementary School. Keck's grin is so big, it hurts as he is very excited when Lou agrees to give Ganwar a job at the farm also. Ganwar is surprised to be given a job as he has part of his arm missing and doesn't think he can do much work. Name that book. Home of the Brave. Do you know the author? Applegate. That's correct. Home of the Brave by Katherine Applegate. We'll return to Payne Elementary now. Kate doesn't like to wear pink or sing and play her guitar anymore until she learns to believe, give, and trust those close to her. Name the book. We don't know. You guys want to steal it? We don't know. The correct answer is The Three Rules of Everyday Magic by Amanda Hill. We'll go back to White Elementary now. In which school is Sunshine Reality selling the main character's mother's house? We don't know. Correct answer is Gertie's Leap to Greatness by Kate Beasley. We'll go back to Payne Elementary now. In which book does a young girl want to learn to read against her mother's wishes? The Red Pencil. The Red Pencil. Do you know the author? That is correct. The Red Pencil by Andrea Davis Pinckney. 
go back to White Elementary now. In which book does a young girl named Madeline accidentally discover she is a bunny whisperer? We don't know. Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Extraordinaire or Detective Extraordinaire? Say the title. Full title. Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Detective Extraordinaire. That's correct. Okay. Author is Polly Horvath for that one. Go back to pain now. In which book do we learn that it took a lifetime for Willie to publish his work in his book, Snow Crystals? Snowflake Bentley. Do you know the author? Martin. That's correct. Snowflake Bentley by Jacqueline Briggs Martin. Back to White Elementary now. In which book do we learn about the significance of Rosetta Stone? In which book do we learn about the significance of the Rosetta Stone? Uh, rocks and minerals. Rocks and minerals. Rocks and minerals? That's incorrect. The correct answer is Ancient Egypt by Stephanie Warren Drimmer. We'll go back to Payne Elementary now. In which biography did books become all important to a girl who loved to read and learn? Nothing stops Sophie. That's incorrect. White, you can steal. The correct answer is Turning Pages, My Life Story by Sonia Sotomayor. Uh, we'll go back to uh, White Elementary now. In which book can you find a character from the Village of Junk Drawer? The Legend of Lock, Paper, Scissors. Do you know the author? Daywalt. 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 That's correct. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. Back to pain now. In this book, Diana takes clothes and soap from Miss Lillian. Name the book. The Old Willis Place. Do you know the author? Han. That is correct. The Old Willis Place by Mary Downing Han. Back to White Elementary now. In this book, a brave mouse learns that an owl will not let a mouse family move to the new house because he is fearful of losing his dinner of mice. Name this book. Poppy. Do you know the author? A.V. That is correct. Which book is set during 1835 to 1836 around San Antonio, Texas? We don't know. We don't know. The correct answer is Alamo All-Stars, a Texas tale by Nathan Hale. Back to white now. Which book features characters who eat precious and semi-precious jewels? Crump. Do you know the author? By Leslie Shirtliff. That is correct. Back to pain now. This book is about a horse that was used to help a company of Marines during the Korean War. What book is this? Sergeant Reckless. And do you know the author? No. That is correct. Sergeant Reckless, the true story of the little horse who became a hero by Bruno and McCormick. Go back to white now for question 18. The biography tells about a woman who played backgammon with Benjamin Franklin and considered George and Martha Washington to be good friends of hers. Name the book. Eliza? Uh, that is correct. Do you know the uh, authors there? No. Correct answer. Eliza, the story of Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton by Margaret and McNamara. The main character in this book gives his wife strands of hair and fingernail clippings for her to bury if he did not make it back from his mission. Name the book.
30 minutes over, over Oregon. That's correct. Do you know the author? Correct answer is 30 Minutes Over Oregon, a Japanese pilot's World War II story by Mark Tyler Nobleman. Last question, we'll go back to White to end this round. Name the book where you learn that 12 astronauts have walked on the moon, but none are as famous as the first man who stepped on the moon. Who was Neil Armstrong? Do you know the author? Edwards. That's correct. Who was Neil Armstrong? By Roberta Edwards. That's the end of round two for us. We'll let the judges tally some of the scores up. George, I want to ask you, um, why do you think it's important for a lot of people to read? Obviously, you like to read. Why do you think it's so important? Because people, if you want to read, if you, um, if people, it's important to read, you can talk to people and stuff, and you learn um, how to speak and stuff and you can uh, learn, uh, get your own imagination and write stuff. That's awesome, good answer there. Now, Gabrielle, I'll ask you the, a question. Um, did you find any books that you didn't think you would like when you first got the list, but then you liked them and actually ended up enjoying them a lot? Yes, um, one of the books was The Marvelous Thing That Came From the Spring. It sounded like something I wouldn't be interested in, but I am, I liked it. Definitely. So I'll go back to White Elementary now. Madison, um, is the, are the books you read, or do you think there's any that you would like to see be made into a movie? Um, Grump. Grump? That one should be a movie. That's awesome. I've heard a lot of good things about Grump. I'll have to check that one out. When I was uh, doing Battle of the Books, I think my favorite book was probably, I liked Harry Potter a lot growing up. So that was kind of fun. And they were made into movies too, so I guess they were okay. I'll ask you uh, from Payne again. Um, if you guys wanted to tell me about your favorite place to read and, and why that is. Um, my favorite pl place to read is at home because um, I don't have di a lot of distractions like at school. And it's a really quiet pa place where I can read at. Awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and get you the final scores from this round. The score in this round was 56 for Payne Elementary and 65 for White Elementary. Congratulations, White Elementary. You will meet the winner of the first round for the championship match. While we change teams in our final round, let's see if you can answer some questions about last year's books.
We're ready to start our final battle. The winner of this round will be one of our champions for the 2019-2020 school year. The teams are from McCullum and White Elementary Schools. Good luck to both teams. We'll start with McCullum Justice. In which book are the brother and sister duo chased up the Eiffel Tower by four dirty, smelly ninjas? Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans by Russell Jins. That is correct. All right, Madison, in which book did a girl live in a building where there were not supposed to be any children? Sammy Keys and the Hotel Thief. Do you know the author? No. That is correct. Sammy Keys and the Hotel Thief by Wendelin Van Drainen. Back to McCullum Elementary. In this book, the main character is asked to make the wedding gown for a senator's bride. The senator would later become president of the United States. Fancy party gowns? Do you know the author? Blumenthal? Yeah. That is correct. Fancy party gowns, the story of fashion designer Ann Cole Lowe by Deborah Blumenthal. Next question. While searching for what they thought might be a squirrel in the walls, Mallory pulled Jared up in the dumbwaiter and he discovered the strange library on the top floor. Name the book. The Field Guide. Do you know the author? No. That is correct. The Field Guide by Holly Black and Tony de Terlizzi. De Terlizzi. Thanks for that. Next question. Which book takes place in 13th century Scotland and follows a young lass on an adventure? The Children's Blizzard? That's incorrect. We don't know. The correct answer is The Mad Wolf's Daughter by Diane Magris. Going to go still here, back this way. All right, to White Elementary now. The main character in this book lives in Chicago with her mom and her older brother, Nick. She moved from Mexico when she was a baby. Name the book. Stella Dia has something to say? That's correct. You know the author? No. Stella Diaz has something to say by Angela Dominguez. Back to McCullum Elementary now. In which story does Matt turn down Sackney's offer to go live to go live, excuse me, with the Indian tribe and Atian gives Matt his dog as a gift? The sign of the beaver? Do you know the author? Elizabeth George Spear. That is correct. Question eight, in which book is the tool Moe's hardness scale described? Can you repeat it? In which book is the tool Moe's hardness scale described? Um, Hurricane Watch. That's incorrect. Rocks and Minerals. Rocks and Minerals is correct by Seymour Simon. In which book does the main character find his blue pet buried in blue snow? Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. Do you know the author? Kellogg. Kellogg. Correct. Paul Bunyan, A Tall Tale by Stephen Kellogg. In which book does an inventor take his invention to Gimbel's department store to sell to holiday shoppers? We don't know. Do you all want to steal? We don't know. The correct answer is The Marvelous Thing That Came From a Spring by Gilbert Ford. Back to McCollum now. In which book does a boy call the main character Coke Bottle because she wears thick glasses? I don't know. We don't know. Do you all want to steal? We don't know. Correct answer is Meet Denitra Brown by Nikki Grimes. 
In which book do you read about a girl making wishes for Adrian to move back to the neighborhood? We don't know. Real Friends. That is correct. Real Friends by Shannon Hale. I know because she's like the main character. In which book did the main character have an extraordinary imagination that often got her into trouble? Rosie Revere and the Rosh's rivet Riveters. That, that's not it. Uh, eight Keys? It's incorrect. The correct answer is Beezus and Ramona by Beverly Cleary. In which book are Sam, Fred, and Joe taken on to Queen Anne's revenge by the infamous pirate Blackbeard? Not so Jolly Rogers. Not so Jolly Rogers. Do we do that one? Is that okay? Say it again. Not so Jolly Rogers. No. Can't do that one. Do you guys want to steal it? Yeah. The Not So Jolly Roger. Yeah. That is correct. The Not So Jolly Roger is the correct answer. McCollum will return to you now. In what book does the main character discover a room with a library of about 3,000 books that were her father's when he was alive? Nothing Stops Sophie? Incorrect. Do you all want to steal? We don't know either. The correct answer is Eight Keys by Susan LaFleur. Back to White Elementary School now. In this book, the main characters end up on an island. However, each one has a different story of how they got there. Name the book. Shipwrecks by Gordon Corman. Shipwrecks by Gordon Corman. Her second time was correct. Yeah. Shipwreck by Gordon Corman. So we'll accept that one. Go back to McCullum now. Justice, in this book, the main character must have Sister Kinney treatments, including hot packs, hot packs and stretching every day. Name the book. In this book, the main character must have Sister Kinney treatments, including hot packs and stretching every day. Name the book. Three Rules of Everyday Magic. That's incorrect. The correct answer was Small Steps by Peg Carrot. Back to White Elementary School. In this book, the main character is shot in the behind by a lady practicing her archery. <coughs> Name the book. We don't know. The Adventures of Sh Sir Lance. Sir Lancelot the Great. That is correct. The Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great by Gerald Morris. McCollum, back to you. In this book, Anna's mother says, We shall always know love, and as long as we are together, we shall never be poor. Name the book. Ada's violin. That is incorrect. We don't know. The correct answer is The Blessing Cup by Patricia Polacco. Last question of the round will go to White Elementary School. Give the title of the book that is set in a place where scorpions can be found and the main character's aunt gets stung by a very large one. Rocks and minerals? That's incorrect. Doll people? That is incorrect. The correct answer is Turtle in Paradise by Jennifer Holm. We'll give the judges a few seconds to 
tally up the scores from round number two. Um, this is the 25th year of the Battle of the Books, believe it or not. Really? It's older than me. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, old enough. <laughs> <laughs> when it first started, there were 100 books on the list, and the competition was the first week in May. 1,100 students participated in Battle of the Books this year. So a lot of students participated to get to this point, but you guys have made it. So congratulations on making it to the championship round. Um, I guess for um, students at White Elementary School, do you have any suggestions that may be some books you want to see next year on the Battle of the Books list? Uh, Wonder. Why is that? Why, what makes that book so good? It gets, it's, it, goes, they, it, goes, it tells us that on, on the outside that it's not ugly, but it's on the inside. It's actually kind of sweet. Very cool. I'll ask you the same question. Justice, if you had to see one book added to the list, what would it be and why? I was going to think Wonder 2 because um, a lot of it's just what matters um, on the inside, not on the outside. So it's um, telling you about kindness and how you should treat other people. That's awesome. We'll have to add Wonder to the book. The score in our tournament today was 72 points for McCullum Elementary, 35 for White Elementary. Our winner today is McCullum Elementary. Congratulations on today. Way to go for all of our teams that were participating in today. Prizes underneath right here. We've got some stuff for you guys here. We've got some medals to give each of you guys here. Awesome. There you guys go. Do you want to come and get your medal? Pass one down. Take one and pass it down there. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Good job, guys. And the bags as well. Oh, there we go. One more thing. Way to go. Your dedication and teamwork throughout this year was a great accomplishment. We're proud of you and all the students who participated on the teams in our schools. Thank you for your efforts. Also, thank you to the libraries, the class teachers, the class teachers and parents, and all who have contributed to make this happen. Join us again this afternoon at 2 o'clock here on WPS-TV, Cox Cable Channel 20, or USD259.org backslash WPS-TV online to see another exciting Battle of the Books competition. Keep reading.